During Jimmy Johnson's title reign from 2006 to 2010, there was only a handful of Cup Series drivers that were legit title threats. Carl Edwards was one of those. 2008 was by far Carl Edwards' best season in his entire Cup Series career. So let's get into it. After two impressive seasons in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, Edwards would be tapped by Roush Racing to drive full-time in 2005. He would waste no time bursting onto the Cup Series scene, scoring four wins and finishing third in the standings. 2006, however, was a bit of a down year by his standards. He would go winless, meanwhile he would also score 20 top 10s, but unfortunately would miss the chase and finish 12th in the standings. 2007 is when it all turned around for him. He would return to his true form, scoring 3 wins, 11 top 5s, 15 top 10s a pole, and an average finish of 13.9 and would finish 9th in the standings. So heading into the 2008 season, fans were split on whether Carl Edwards was a true title contender or just another solid driver. Carl Edwards would prove all of his doubters wrong and would put up a spectacular season that nearly won him his first Cup Series title. Coming Pass. to the white flag, one to go. Pass Joe Nemechek will finish 34th today. Makes this move for our last lap here. Just tiptoe, baby, just tiptoe. Yeah, with clear and Nemechek, he's pretty much got smooth sailing, getting close to half a lap to go. Don't let go of that wood. Don't wave at anybody. Just bring her home. Looking for his seventh top six finish in eight starts here in Southern got California. Guy got a spin on the, the wall. Jared. The, the, the caution is out, so the field is frozen. The race is over right there because we're on the white flag lap. Dale yeah, Jared's car yeah, rolls down up. from yellow the banking. Up. Once you enter the once you enter into the white flag lap and there and uh, there's a caution, Should the race is over. Won. Yellow came out uh, yeah. after the white flag. No Checkered flag. Yellow. Carl Edwards wins the Auto Club 500, his first victory at California Speedway, and the 11th victory here for Roush Racing. Six in Sprint Cup, six in the Nationwide Series, car, guys. <laughs> and two in the Craftsman Truck Series. Good job, Carl. Green flag. Much better start by the 88 that time. No wheel spin that time. Kevin Harvick laid back just a little bit in that 29 car on Greg Biffle. Dale Earnhardt Jr. staying right with him. Look at Biffle go the Biffle outside. Biffle gets a run on the high side. I don't know if he can make that stick or not. But the high side is where those Fords have been their best all day. Boy, Carl's shot out of a cannon down the back straightaway. There goes Biffle up to the second groove. He just can't get the bite up there. They'll be coming white flag this time. One to go. I believe Biffle's going to make a run on Junior as they go down in toward turn one here. He's looking around. He's looking inside. He's looking outside. You got good gap here. Run away with it. Biffle's to the outside of Junior off of two. Can't quite get there. He'll have one more shot as Carl Edwards pulls away. Half a lap to go. Carl's loving this. He's looking in the mirror saying, bye bye, boys. Harvick coming into the picture. See Front you at the five. casino. <laughs> Single file. Biffle whoa, looks whoa, high. Whoa, Biffle. And for the ninth time in his Sprint Cup career, Carl Edwards will go to victory lane. Two in a row. Way to go, Carl. Hey, what? We had a side-by-side -side battle for six between Casey Kane and David Reagan. It's over for sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, 10-4. Checkered the waving here. Good job. Well, here we go, boys. He wants to get a shot here. Tighten your belts. One more time. Don't spin the tires. Yikes. Oh, left the outside open, I'll have to say that. Here comes Clint Boyer with those two fresh tires. He's going for third, going down into turn one, side by side. Almost four wide back where Newman and Kenseth battle. Well, Kenseth is in trouble. We see that. Here comes. Here comes Smoke. Here comes Clint Boyer again with those two fresh tires going out into three. We'll be coming to the white flag. He's side by side with Kyle Busch. I don't th oh, that's three wide again. That's Will exciting. They make it? That's exciting for third, but ain't much happening. Four up here back this front. time, four back. Carl Edwards running away. The battle is back at sixth place. Yeah, those guys who got tires are fighting with each other big time. Yes, they are. Newman, Kenseth, Tony Stewart, oh, Jeff Burton out. on the outside, look and look Denny out. Hamlin. Look that's out, a Matt. hornet's nest. Coming to the checkered flag. Matt Kenseth's a big old sandwich. Carl Edwards off turn four. Will win 
in the Samsung 5. Oh, we got Clint Boyer sideways. Denny Hamlin and Boyer got together with Boyer ending up in the wall, but Great coming job, across guys. the line in fourth. I'm oh. sure he's a, I'm sure Jack said, you know, you might want to try that out in the grass. Ah, yeah, stuck the landing. Nothing, nothing to it. All day, the man to beat. Carl Edwards dominates in Texas. And Kyle Busch, by the way, pitted on the same lap that Carl Edwards pitted. Kyle is out of gas. Edwards has got a lap to go to the checkered flag. And they only have a certain number of spots they can push that car, right, Andy, down pit road. Three and they, pit that stalls. car's not running. They'll have to push it back to their pit. Pass through penalty being called for the 18. Uh, if he can get back on the race, it's going to be a moot point here. But the question is, does Carl have enough fuel on the final lap? The team's holding their breath right here. You can't see the car. All you're, you're looking towards turn three and just hoping you see that car come <laughs> off the corner. So far, so good for Carl. End of the tunnel turn. And Carl is back in the throttle because... This is the last lap, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be checkered flag this time by, bud. said this team has been performing exceptionally well and they've done everything right today on the racetrack in the pits making the right calls and it's going to get them another victory it looks like great car oh, outstanding strategy and an impressive drive by carl Edwards. he takes win number four on the season you are a wheel man cannot live without you brother i appreciate your efforts every day thank you and right now one stout forward pulling away from kyle bush now White good, flag. Yeah, he had a good turn. Kyle Busch had a good turn three there, there but I just don't flag. think that he's got enough. Carl Edwards' car is just too strong, I believe. And these have been the two best cars pretty much most of the day. Dale Jr. was fast at the beginning, but for the, the last half of the race, these have been the two best cars. Carl Edwards trying to come down and get win number five. The all important, important bonus points. Ten bonus points per win. Remember, he didn't get the bonus points for the Las Vegas win because of the uh, violation they had with the oil tank cover. Here he comes out of turn four. And for the second time in 2008, a driver sweeps both events. Carl Edwards will win it Saturday and Sunday at Michigan with a 17th place finish. Here he comes. He did it yesterday. The signature somersault back to back at oh, Michigan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carl Edwards. And the fans love that. Uh oh, Carl. Just oh, a little here he goes. Shake on two. See the back end of the 18 kick out. Okay, just a he got bit. into, he got it, into right it. Moved him out of the way. So he's got right. the lead. Here comes Kyle back at him again. He's going to get to him. Yeah, gave him a little shove. Ah, the bump and run, the Bristol move. Here comes Denny Hamlin right there, too. Denny Hamlin said, my turn to play. I got a bumper, too. Jeff Gordon's not far behind. You can see him working back there just behind these guys. Takes the white flag. White flag, buddy. Less than half a mile from back-to-back -back victories for Carl Edwards. Now the back straightaway. Got a hammer in turn three. Got some traffic in front of him. And Carl Edwards will come down and win for the second time in his career in Bristol, Tennessee. Yeah, boys, you did a great job today. Awesome, awesome day. Carl Edwards mathematically Whoa, locked in. Got a little nudge here from Kyle Bush. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, they're pushing and shoving a little bit over there. I don't know what that oh, was yeah. all about. Now the 18 is going to try to run him down. Well, that would have been the little, the little push. NASCAR is calling the 18. Watch, watch this, guys. Here comes the 18, and he is uh, not done yet. They have called him to the NASCAR hauler. Yes, he is. He's coming down the pit road. White flag. One more time. Bring him back here. See Hamlin really fighting the steering wheel right there. This is the final lap, so no chance of a green-white checker, but here comes Jimmy Johnson on Denny Hamlin. Yeah, he gave him that outside. I was a little surprised there. If he makes that run, if we talk about this turn four pass, it's not going to be for the win this year, but it might be for second spot. There's Carl Edwards. Here's the battle for a second as they are in turn three. Carl Whoa. Edwards. Whoa, 
coming out of turn four cut as the 48 makes the pass and Carl Edwards will come down and win for the seventh time in 2008 and Jimmy Johnson finishes second. Unbelievable. What a great day for those guys. All week long we talked about it. Jimmy. Good job, driver. Carl Edwards did all he could do to try to gain points, but it's just so hard to make points on Jimmy Johnson. Well, the, the key thing right now is just get out of the gas more yet, it looks like, with a 12-second lead over to second place Jeff Gordon. I mean, he just needs to be hardly running whatsoever. White flag next time, guys. Two to go, two to go. The 88 problem gave Jimmy Johnson one more position. Watch Jack Roush standing there watching Bob Osborne. Can they get it done? Can they squeeze enough fuel? They might be able to pull this thing off. Man, what a face. great call. Hadn't, we hadn't even considered that, you know, because nobody's been anywhere like close to that. They would have to go 69 laps. They've gone now 68 laps. White flag. It's amazing. We see our uh, the guy that's getting ready to win this race getting passed by everybody on the <laughs> racetrack, but he's on a different agenda. It's just Jeff Gordon's back half there. A, half a lap. If he can make it half a lap, he will narrow almost 80 points off of Jimmy Johnson's lead. He said if we can just get it down to 100 or less at Homestead, we got a shot. I like his chances from here. Wow, it. what a call. He's make it. What a call. Coming out of turn four, what a call. Carl Edwards gets it done and wins at Texas. Man, oh man. Jeff Gordon's going to finish second. Okay, we, it's hard to tell whether he's out of fuel or not. Just, just how slow he's running. Yeah. He's still running. Tell me how big my lead is now. 13 seconds, bud. 13 second lead. Okay, it's a That's white flag here. What am I looking for, Bob? Six car. Six car. Okay, now the 29 car is in second place, and he is another 13 seconds back. All Carl has to do is just make sure this thing will come around to the finish. Lead. second lead now, bud. Final lap for Carl Edwards, who has led the most laps, trying to coast home with yet another win in 2008. He's going to make it, guys. Off of turn Here four. he comes. Out of turn four. Carl great, great job. his ninth win of the year. His 2008 stats are this, nine wins, 19 top fives, 27 top tens, an average finish of 9.5 and would finish second in the standings. Unfortunately, Edwards would lose the title to Jimmy Johnson by just 69 points, but under the old format, he would have won by 16. Despite losing the title, he would congratulate Jimmy Johnson after the race and it just shows that he is such a good sport all the time. Anyways, Carl Edwards would never win this many races again in a season. From 2009 to 2016, he would win a combined 12 races. And finally, Edwards would come close in both 2011 and 2016 to winning his first Cup Series title, but it would not materialize. He will always be known as a bridesmaid and never a bride. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.